All right, um, today's training is done. Uh, well, the morning training at least. And uh, I'd say I already had like about uh, two liters of water. This one is uh, close to be finished. Uh, but then I had, I had a bit more. So yeah, uh, it's about 9.30 here in Chiang Mai right now. And um, uh, yeah, almost, almost got like more water down than um, most people drink in a day. Uh, it's actually quite easy here because it's warm, but don't take it as an excuse, man. Like water is important. If you if you like up for high protein diet, you do good. You do good if you if you uh, you do good if you uh, if you drink a lot of water. So yesterday, um, I had about seven liters. It's like, that's sick, right? Seven liters of water, and yeah, you just drink it through the day. Have like a big jug of water with you, and it, it becomes really easy. And um, here's the thing, here's the thing that that is something that I just learned recently, uh, because they always tell us uh, drink a lot of water, right? Which is good, but you want to drink your water in between, in between meals. So that said, you can drink a lot of water before you eat, like uh, probably. Uh, 20 minutes, half an hour before you eat, because water goes through your system, through the intestine very quickly, right? But when you eat, but when you eat, you don't want to drink a lot of water. A few sips to, to, to get to get down some of the more chewy stuff is okay. But like, here's the thing: why why you don't want to why you don't want to um, drink water when you eat? Because your body releases. Uh, I think it's called bile, right? And with it, a lot of enzymes that help break down f the food, right? And if you water it down, you kind of interrupt the digestive process and your food is longer in your stomach. It takes a longer time for it to digest, right? So this is why, like, yeah, um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure about the numbers, but let's let's say you wanna you wanna let some time pass before you drink a huge amount of water after you ate. Okay, so a couple of minutes before you eat, you can have some water. But then when you eat, like you know, take a break in between just for the food to digest. Um, of course, you need some water um, if you if you take supplements and if you take multivitamins, uh, mineral subs or fish oil, whatever it is, try to sandwich it try to sandwich it in between your food. So you have a meal, you eat a little bit, then you take the pills, right? You, you take a little bit of water, you drink it, and then you put the second layer of food on top of it, have a little bit of water, and then just, yeah, rest or whatever you want to do, right? But don't water down the digestive process. And it's, yeah, it's like something that they never really told us. And I find it interesting because when you when you look at supplementation and you have like um, protein shakes, they always give you like, a number of like maybe 200 milliliters of water, right? And you're always keen to, I was always keen, I was always keen to, to use more, right? Just like, yeah, more, more water is good. But then, yeah, you kind of dilute um, the, the process. And if you, if you take protein powders or BCAAs, the idea is that it is in your system fast. But if you use too, way more water than actually uh, the recommendation is, Potentially, it's in your it's in your system uh, longer, right? And you can reap the benefits quickly, as quickly as you would if you stick to the dosage. So yeah, that's that. Look it up. Uh, you can also look a bit um, into uh, food layering, like how you eat foods, because usually we eat everything together. But actually, there's some science behind uh, that. It's um, more beneficial if you eat like uh, the watery foods first and then the the less watery foods last and also food pairing right so supposedly you should not pair carbohydrates and proteins you can pair carbohydrates and vegetables and you can pair vegetables and proteins but proteins and carbs supposedly is not a really good idea 
give you more gas, harder to digest, takes longer into your system. And uh, yeah, meats, meats by, by themselves actually take longer to, to break down. And I think even within meats, there's a difference. I'd say like probably chicken or, or fish is pretty easy, but then the red meats probably take longer. Um, again, like my diet now, I try to keep it simple. Um, I, I, I kind of watch that I don't drink too much water around the food, but right now, man, I don't got, I don't got a, my head into food layering, right? I try to keep it simple, kiss, right? Keep it simple, stupid. And um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you learned something today. <laughs> something uh, keeps your mind grinding. Maybe you want to look it up. Maybe you have energy problems uh, through the day or digestive problems. Yeah, look into it. And uh, that's it for now. See you later. Now it's breakfast, sleep. Oh yeah, probably shower. <laughs> Alright guys, wherever you are, have a nice day. See you soon.